there, amazing people of the internet. My name is Amethyst. Welcome to my corner. Today we're going to be making a Shunamite diet mix for my three rats. I have three female adult rats. And today I'm going to share with you guys how I made my Shunamite mix. This is a budget-friendly version. Um... So, it, to start off this video, I have to say, if you're trying to make your own food for any animal, you need to do your due diligence and do research. Just copying a stranger's recipe on the internet um, is not going to give you the tools that you need to actually properly make a mix. You might be able to copy me um, measurement by measurement, but at the end of the day, you don't understand what's going on with the mix, and so you're not actually learning anything. So I do recommend that you do some research on the Shunamite diet. Uh, try really hard to understand the measurements, understand why you do what you do in order to get your mix the right way. Um, basically, you know, rats are like people. We have our <laughs> macro and micronutrients, and we're supposed to get a certain percentages of each each day, um, and rats are the same. You have to make sure what they are getting is going to meet their um, nutritional needs, and when you try to break it down more simply as like just a nutritional standpoint, that helped me to really understand what I was doing. So this is the first mix that I made, and they like it, so I'm going to make it again. Um, and I'm going to share with you guys what exactly I'm doing. So to start off with, we're going to have some sort of cup. Uh, this is basically going to act as 5% of our mix. So each scoop is 5%. Uh, that's how most people do it. You're going to want to have a base mix, and then to your base mix, you're going to add everything else. So I want to start by explaining to you guys that the Shunamite diet is pretty much like like down to a science. So there are a few infographics that you can find online that'll give you some really good ideas as to what you can create um, a mix out of. So here are just, here's one mix right here, and here's another one. This one is the one I see most often. So one scoop is 5%, like I said before. We've got our base mix, processed grains, protein, herbs and veg, and seeds. And those are going to be our five main categories for our base, or for our mix. And then you're going to need supplements. So I give them two hard-boiled eggs a week for their calcium, and then I give them a daily multivitamin that is water-soluble from Dr. Squiggles, which I will try to find and link down below. I know it is really hard to come by in the States now, though, so that is going to be our mix right here. This is the diet group that I'm a part of. It's Shunamite Diet USA. I really highly recommend you get into it. If you can, go ahead and apply, but it is a private group, so I'm not going to show you guys what they have in here, but um, definitely, definitely find a Facebook group to be a part of because they are so very helpful. Uh, just make sure that you are, you know, join a couple if you want to get a lot of just information and ideas and remember to always fact check what people say. If you hear something, look it up. Okay, um, and then we're going to go ahead and show you guys what I have personally for my mix, uh, but we have the base mix, which is our Versile Laga Classic Pigeon Food, um, and then we have three processed grains, two proteins, two herbs, and two supplements. So let's go ahead and show you guys. This is my base mix right here. You can absolutely add things to the base mix, but again, this is my most simple version of this mix. I have it on auto ship, so it's $35, which is not that bad considering. Uh, and then we're going to have some sort of pasta. This is the one that I had on deck, but I do like to use macaroni because they're a lot smaller of pieces, and I prefer that so that they can't overeat one specific food group. And then for our other two processed grains, I've got Cheerios, which are going to be fortified, and then Arrowhead Puffed Rice Cereal. My future mixes will not have the Cheerios because there's too much sugar in them. I'm going to find a different, um, I, I forget what it's called, but there's a specific cereal that I'm going to be looking for. I'll see if I can find it and pop it on the screen here. As for protein, this is going to be found at Aldi, and it's amazing. Um, it's a really high quality uh, dog food, so you can't use any dog food. It has to have a specific type of um, uh, it has to have a specific nutrient scale, uh, so this one is a really good one that you can find at Aldi. Mine is cheaper than this too, so depending on where you're at, you might be able to get it cheaper. And then I also have, um, personally I have some fly grubs, uh, dried fly grubs, but those I got for like a dollar, and I'm only adding a little bit because they have too much protein to be the only source of protein, um, so you're gonna want a protein that has, like, also other protein sources of minerals and nutrients in it so hopefully that makes sense but if you're doing something like straight protein like the grubs just have protein uh you're gonna need to adjust your mix accordingly which is again why you want to be in a part of a facebook group there's there's people who are basically professionals who can help you out this is going to be my herb and mix uh, for this specific mix, eventually I'm going to add in some dehydrated vegetables as well, uh, but for right now they just get fresh, fresh veg. 
And then this is going to be my seed mix. You can do a bunch of different seeds, but this is the one that I chose for this specific mix because it's already pre-made with three of them. Uh, this one was a lot more expensive than um, I was expecting, to be honest, but it is $8. So... Yeah, this is all of my ingredients here. And then again, I have the two supplements that I give them. And that's all our ingredients here. So I am going to get started on making the mix. So again, one scoop is 5%. So for our base mix, we're going to be doing 11 scoops of this right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so there's our base mix right there. Um, it's got a ton of stuff in it, and I did have a little bit left over from my previous batch. Um, I didn't make that batch too long ago. I made the original batch really small just to make sure that they liked everything that was in here and that they weren't avoiding eating anything. So now we're going to move on to our processed grains. So we have the pasta. I'm going to do two scoops if I have enough. I don't like using the larger rotinis. That's why I used macaroni in my last mix. Um, but this is all that I had right now, so we're using it. And then we're gonna do one and a half scoops of the Cheerios and one and a half scoops of the rice puffs. We'll start with our rice puffs right here. So we've got one. And then I fill this one up a little bit above half on accident, but that's not too big of a deal. We're gonna grab our Cheerios and then fill up the half cup. This is a bad idea. I'll do it like this. There we go. So those are our processed greens right there. Put that back. Um, the Cheerios are fortified as well. So if you can get a fortified cereal, that's kind of what why why cereal is a good choice. So those are our three processed grains that I'm adding in today. You can add in more processed grains like variety wise so you could totally swap things out but again that's where you're going to want to do your research and then if you're part of the Facebook groups you honestly can just send a screenshot of what you're planning on using for your mix and people will be kind enough to just correct what you might want to change. So now we're going to go into protein. So I'm going to do one scoop of protein so I'm only going to do a, a 0.25 scoop of the larva um, because if I did a whole one it might be too much protein for the ratio of my mix and then I'm gonna fill up the rest of the cup with our dog food so that's our protein here and now we're going to be doing our herbs and dried veg those go under the same categories and that's where we're gonna pull out these rosewood salad and this bag is absolute crap so I'm actually just going to put the whole thing in here all right there we go and we are going to be doing one whole scoop of this mix right here. All right, and there are our veggies right there. Dried herbs and veg. Okay, so then the other half of our herbs and, herbs and um, veg is going to be seeds of some kind. And I'm using this mix. I'm going to do one whole scoop. All right, so we have that. Sprinkle that about. And Polka's gotten into the Cheerios. My other two girls are still hanging out around the cage. I'm sorry that you guys haven't seen much of them. But now that we have all of it in here, we're going to go ahead and mix it up. So this is what it's looking like. I'll bring you guys a close-up so we can see it all mixed up. And I have washed my hands before starting this. All right, so I'm just going to go in from the sides and mix it up. And whenever you go to grab the food for them, you're going to want to maybe give it a little bit of a mix beforehand just to make sure you're not missing any of those herbs because the seeds specifically will sink to the bottom because they're so much smaller. So really make sure you're getting underneath and grabbing all of it. Um, I take everything a step further. I'm actually going to measure them out per day. So I'm gonna go grab my scale and my um, containers that I use to feed them. And I'm gonna show you what I do to just make my life a bit easier. Okay, so I got these at the Dollar Tree. I think I, I can't remember if it's just one pack or two, but basically to make my life easier, I'm going to actually pre-weigh out what I feed them. So I do about 60 grams for all three girls a day. Um, they were underweight, so this is a little bit more than the average. I think it's like five or five grams more per rat. Um, but do your own research, figure out what you need to do uh, to feed your babies. So what I'm going to do is put my, oops, I messed it up, my container on here. And then I'm going to reach in with my cup and just pour 60 grams of food for them. Try to get like a good mix here. So 
67. I'm going to pull just a pinch. There we go. And now this is one day's worth of food for my girls. Um, and then, of course, when you're feeding any animal, you know, you're always going to want to make sure that you are mindful of what's um, happening to their weight. Is their weight fluctuating greatly? Um, are they underweight, overweight? Always do research. Keep, you know, knowledge about your pet. I'm trying to get a good mix of all the different parts of their diet into each container. So if I notice that there's not a lot of seeds in my scoop, then maybe I'll scoop a little bit lower to the bottom because see where you scoop very greatly uh, changes how your ratios are going to be and you don't want to be making your rats uh, deficient in anything. Okay, a little bit extra. That's good. And I don't care if I'm a couple grams over or under because they end up evening themselves out. I'm usually, I'd rather overfeed them than underfeed them at this point. When you have an animal, you need to be doing so much research about what they can and cannot have, what is healthy for them, what is unhealthy for them. Never, never, never take information that you get at face value. Always question everything and make sure you get as much info as you can um, from reputable sources. Um, not a lot of vets know about rats, so, you know, try to find a good vet that you can trust with information on your rats. Here we go, baby. Um, I have noticed that my girls, like I said, they lost a lot of weight, um, because I didn't have the means to start them on the Shunamite, and, um, I had purchased a pre-made Shunamite diet for them, but, um, the person that I was buying them from didn't have any more, and I put them on Oxbow, even though I don't want to, you know, I, I didn't really have a choice at the time, and they lost a bunch of weight when I put them on Oxbow and not the Shunamite, um, to like a weird degree, like Boca has always been a chubby girl, she's given birth to three litters, and she's so lightweight, guys, it makes me nervous, um, so that's why I am adamant about you know, doing your research, guys, making sure that you're feeding them correctly is because I was so nervous that I was failing my girls, and that's why I eventually, like, I bit the bullet and I went into, you know, I, I didn't, <laughs> I was struggling a lot financially, and I decided, like, enough, stop spending on myself, stop eating out, and get these girls on their diet. I used my credit cards just to ensure that they were going to get the food that they needed to be healthy and happy. So I hope that you guys liked that today's video. Please, please, please just do your research. If there's one thing you can take away from this video, make sure you're doing your research. Um, you know, your animals, you only get them once, right? Like you don't, you don't get another shot if you don't take care of your pets. So do your research. I hope that this helped you guys to give you ideas on what you can do if you're located in America. Like I said, everything's going to be linked down below. As for why you're going to want to do Shunamite other, other, over other ones, that's something that I recommend you do your research on. This is most like what they would be eating in the wild. And I'm trying to get Tanji to come. Hey baby. She's been doing a lot better. This is my antisocial one. She's been a lot more calm when I try to go for her and lets me pick her up now when she didn't used to. Um, she lets me hang out with her. And so she's been doing a lot better. She still is not a huge fan of pets. Sometimes she's okay with them, sometimes she's not. And then we're going to grab Nezuko. Come here. This is Nezuko right here. She, she is so small. It's really weird how lightweight she is. Like, she feels like she's a baby. Um, she feels like she's probably just, like, skin and bones. Um, so I really hope, like, I've only had them on the Shunamite for about a month. And they're already gaining a little bit of weight. But I really hope that they get um, some more chonk on them because... It's just so weird how light they are, but they already, their coats are doing so much better. Their coats are so much more um, full. Boca had been losing fur in like clumps and she, her hair's growing back really, really well. Um, she's, they're all gaining weight a little bit and they all have like better energy. Their moods have improved and who knows if that's the diet versus, you know, there's so many different factors that go into this kind of stuff, but, um, for me personally, I like to believe that it's partially the food because it's so much healthier for them. It's not processed the way that the other things are. 
Um, so yeah, I've been really loving having them on this diet and I absolutely am so excited to share with you guys my future recipes because I do want to change it up here and there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave me some food emojis down below. Um, leave me your favorite dessert emoji. How about that? And I will give you a nice thank you for hanging out with me today. And with that all said, I hope that you have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye!